to more modern things. We begin this hour <laughs> with a milestone for the U.S. tech giant that is supercharging the AI revolution. NVIDIA just became the first public corporation to be valued at more than $4 trillion based on its rising stock price. Money Watch correspondent Kelly O'Grady is here with more. Kelly, what does NVIDIA's rise tell us about the future of, of our economy, really? Well, look, I mean, this just goes to show you that investors are betting there's going to be no slowing down in the AI arms race. And they think NVIDIA's products play a central role in this. So the California-based company, it makes semiconductor chips that are used to power AI systems. And as major tech companies from Meta to Google build out their own AI products, they're using NVIDIA's chips to do it. Now, the company's valuation dipped back below $4 trillion at market close yesterday, but it's still the most <laughs> valuable company in the world. And it's one of just three companies in that exclusive $3 trillion club, and that includes Microsoft and Apple. There's little competition for NVIDIA, but it is well positioned to continue growing. The only thing that could stop it is tariffs could make their chips more expensive. Uh, there was another big uh, bit headline out of the tech world uh, over at X, uh, an executive stepped down, and then there was a little AI scandal involving Grok. What do you know? Yes, let me run you through it. Okay, so X's AI chatbot, it is known as Grok, and it responded to users okay. with some alarming posts. So in one, Grok accused, quote, often Jewish people of engaging in extreme leftist activism, especially the anti-white variety. When asked which 20th century figure would be best suited to address that alleged trend, Grok responded, Adolf Hitler, no question. Since then, that post has been deleted. A statement posted to the Grok account said X was aware of the offensive posts, working to remove them, and had, quote, taken action to ban hate speech before Grok posts. Meanwhile, the shakeup you mentioned, right, at the top of the company, X's CEO, Linda Yaccarino, announced she's stepping down after two years at the helm. She didn't give a reason for her departure, but it is coming at a tough time for Elon Musk. He's fallen out of favor with President Trump, and Tesla's value has dipped by around 5% mm. since Musk announced he and tends to start a new political party. Lots going on in his world. Yeah. There was an interesting line from Grok. Grok, in the apology, said, facts matter more than edginess. Kind of a good guideline yeah, for the internet. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> for all of us. <laughs> for all, yeah. Yeah. Grok needs to get it together. All right, Kelly, thank you so much. <laughs>